The World Wide Web Consortium explains margin provides spacing between boxes. When looking at the picture frame example, margin would be the space between other picture frames or the empty wall space. In relation to the box model, margin is the space outside of the border edge. By setting margin to zero, this space does not exist and therefore the element contains no margin. A CSS margin declaration can be written in a few ways. Each side of an element can have its margin set independently by specifying which side margin will apply to as the property. For example, we can set a margin value for only the top of an element by using margin-top. We can also use margin-bottom, margin-right, and margin-left to apply margin to all sides of an element. We can also set each side of an element's margin with one declaration. Using the margin property, we can use four different values, each separated by a space, to set margin for all four sides. The order we set these in is top, right, bottom, left. This can be a little tricky to remember at first, but just keep in mind you are setting them in a clockwise order, starting at the top. If the top and bottom margin are going to be the same, and the left and right margin are going to be the same as well, we can use this syntax to apply margin. The first value will represent the margin for the top and bottom, and the second value will represent the margin for the left and the right. If the top and bottom margin are going to be different, but the left and the right margin are going to be the same, we can use this syntax. The first value will represent the margin for the top, the second value will represent the margin for the left and the right, and the third final value will represent the margin for the bottom. Lastly, if the margin is going to be set to be the same on all sides, we only need to use one value with the margin property.